All right, so um, good afternoon, everybody. Hello, Rancho Mirage. How are you all doing? <laughs> so I've never been this far east on the 250, on, you know, the 250 or the 10. I've never been this far east. I just, I'm like, where am I going? Then I saw these giant fans. Right, I'm like, man, is it that hot out here? They got these big fans. That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, my name is Guru Francis. Well, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyway, let's take that again. Okay. My name is Guru Francis. I'm from Philippine. Uh, my, my school is called Filipino Martial Arts School. And we are located in Riverside, but I have a couple students. One of them here, Sarah, please raise your hand. She's a local, so give her a hand, everybody. <laughs> It's her fault that she made me come all the way out here. I'm like, good Lord, do I need a passport? I, I don't know. But you know what? It's very, very beautiful out here. I'm like, wow, I should come out here more often. It's great, so I'm, I'm like that. You got a new one, you got a new fan. All right, so my name is Francis again. So we're gonna be demonstrating the indigenous fighting style of the Philippines. So first we're gonna show you the basics. First we're gonna show you the 12 strikes. So students, line up, ready. Come on up, come on down. No, don't get close to me, okay? I, I, I'm the star, no, I'm just No, I am, I am, okay. Ready, ready for strike one. All right, so they're gonna demonstrate the 12 strikes. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, one more time, guys. Give him a hand. So let's try that again. All right, natural stance. Ready for strike one. And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Give him a hand again. Now, because I'm Filipino, that means I'm Asian. We're going to throw, throw some math in here. All right. All the odd strikes. Ready for strike one. <laughs> They're like, what? What? You didn't tell us we're going to do this. I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. All right. <laughs> I'm just like scaring them. All right. Now we're going to do the blocks. And they're going to do 12 blocks. Are right, ready? Ready for strike one. Nope. And <laughs> he's my most senior student, guys. Uh, he's he, he, we're professionals, I promise. We, we are, we are. He's actually one of my world champions. Can you believe that? Yeah. And he forgot my name. He, during, the, during the performance, he forgot my name. I'm like, you see me every week. Like, how can you forget my name? My name is not going to I mean, I don't know how hard is that to remember. All right, ready for strike one. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And give me a hand, folks. Natural sands. So now we're gonna do something called a single counter, right? What you might be? What is a single counter? It is when you go to your kitchen and there's only one counter, right? It is easy to counter because I count that one. I counter, right? No, we're gonna do a counter where they're gonna strike and they're gonna block and then that person who block will counter with a counter strike. All right, so partner up. Sir. Uh, trust us, we're professionals. We've done this before. Two weeks ago, actually. All right. No. <laughs> Don't follow them. <laughs> All right. Ready for strike one. Okay, and begin. One. one. Keep going. Two. Keep going. Other side. There you go. Then the other side. So, there, in, in Filipino martial arts, there's three ranges that we do. There's the largo, which is the long range, and then there's the medium range, which we call the mija, and then there's the close range, which we call corto. Oh, I'm sorry, bye. Okay, all right. 
thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're, we do this all day. Okay, so there's three ranges, the Largo, Mija, and Corto, right? Long, medium, and, and close range. Keep going, keep going, right? So now, what do you call when two more pe two more groups are doing media range? Do you know what that's called? It's called social media. And what do you call if it's long range? Social distancing. And what do you call close range? That's COVID. You're just getting COVID. You can be vaccinated. There's a guy, people boosting over in the back. Okay, thank you very much. And now we're going to do something called the Tres Tres Sombrada. Say Sombrada. Okay, so the Sombrada requires, if you're, if, for, for, just an ease for you to remember, a Sombrada requires a partner to do this drill. You need some brother to do this drill with you. All right, easy. It's easy to remember. All right, face each other and begin. So as you can see, they're striking, blocking, and countering, and faster and faster and faster. Faster. All right, let's give him a hand, folks. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody else off the stage except for Jeremy? Salute, salute All right, so now we're gonna be demonstrating some of the techniques that we use with, the, with, with Filipino martial arts. So first we're gonna start with a stick, and he's gonna start with a stick, and then we're gonna transition from there. So give us a second. Go over here, please. No, 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 go here. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so he's gonna strike me to the temple. Right? He's gonna strike me at the temple. Why do you think we're aiming for the temple? Because that's where the three parts of your skull meet joints, and that's the most vulnerable part of your head. Okay, so he's gonna strike me at the temple, and then I'm gonna do a counter. Okay, so now we're going to be showcasing that with a knife. Not a real one, officer. So, it's fake. By the way, my name is Jeremy Ringer. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm always ready, always ready. So he's going to strike me here. All the way through. He strikes me here. Slice, slice, slice. Thrust, twist, and out. So now, a lot of people, when they see this portion, they think, man, that Francis guy, he's so handsome. For those who are laughing. <laughs> but they might like, man, he, he knows how to do that kind of stuff? Let me be very clear. I don't know how to kill people. Officers, I don't. Right? But I know how to introduce him to Jesus really quickly. Right? So now we're going to be doing this for the same technique, but then we're going to do it with empty hands. So he's gonna slice me again here. I'm gonna parry him this way here, lock him in. Right? And then from here, I'm gonna see if there's other opponents. Anybody else wanna fight me? Anybody else? And then when I find it's clear, I come across and lock. Right? Then if he slices me here, here, right? The, the joint of his elbow. Thrust him directly, right? And then he tries to strike me again here. Boom, boom, punch, punch, boom, punch, 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 and Hadouken! <laughs> now, let me talk to you guys.
is about why do Filipino martial artists train with a weapon first? Yeah. Because we can. Right? No, but it's a mindset, ladies and gentlemen. It's a mindset. So let's get something clear. In a real fight, in a real fight, is there such a thing as a fair fight? Thank you. Thank you. There's no such thing as a fair fight. Meaning, they're not going to fight with just one-on-one. -on -one. It's most likely going to be two-on-one, three-on-one, four-on-one. So one of the philosophies that I teach my students is that we're teaching them how to fight a hundred guys, not just one guy. So part of that is called efficiency movement. Don't do more than you have to. So let's say I'm fighting empty hands again. And then he punches. Here, I'm just gonna punch, punch, right, and lock him in. I'm not gonna do more than I need to. I'm not gonna do more than I need to if, if it's just a buddy of mine, right? Now, if we're just buddies and then he's, we're just messing around. He punches, here, that white part of the nail, right, see he's tapping me, right? One more time, one more time. So, if you wanna try that with your partners, the white part of the nail, but when they tap, please stop. And then like the other guy's like, heck no, I ain't giving you my hand, right? And then what hurts above that is the cuticle. Now, you might be wondering, well, how, when do I use that in a real fight? Well, let's see this. Somebody grab, whoa, it's so violent. <laughs> I, I like this shirt. Right, so he grabs my chest. I can do this all day long, or I can just do this. Right? So why should I do more when I don't have to? When I can beat you up with just your thumb. Does that make sense? Now because, thank you. Because if he has, if he has a hundred friends, I don't want to be tired. I don't want to be out of gas before his friends come around. Now, fortunately for me, Jeremy has no friends. <laughs> He's so sad. We don't, I don't even know if he just came up here with me. I don't know, right? But I'd rather assume that he's got buddies that's ready to beat me up. Because if they don't, what happens? Nothing. But if he does, I'm prepared. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? So in Filipino martial arts, we not only train the body, but we train the real weapon, which is the thing between your ears called your brain. We teach you from a philosophical standpoint first. We want you to think like a Filipino martial artist. My name is Guru Francis from Filipino Martial Arts School. Where Booth is back there, please come say hi to us. And where school is in Riverside. Thank you and God bless you all.